what's up, Bob here. Welcome back to the summer of CTI. That's right. Today we're going to go down to my local record store, Better Days Records, here in Louisville, Kentucky, and check the availability of CTI records. We're also going to do a basic price check and see if we can get any good titles. You know, Better Days has a massive jazz selection. It's an entire aisle in the store. It's not just a few crates. It's a huge jazz section. So we should be able to find some stuff and hopefully get a grasp on if you were to go out and just start looking for CTI records, what you might find. So, yep, we're going to roll on down there and uh, see what we can get. Should be pretty fun. All right, I guess we'll just start down here with George. Ooh, good king bed, running about eight bucks. That's pretty nice. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, the other side of Abbey Road, that's a good one. Uh, the, the George Benson selection is vast here. Oh, White Rabbit, $20. 15 uh, lesser condition, I'm sure. Ooh, Benson and Farrell, that's nice. Uh, more copies of Good King Bad. That seems to be readily available. Mm-hmm, yep. A lot of nicely priced records here. Move on to Ron Carter, who is ever present on CTI Records. Yep, there's a lot. Ooh, Jim Hall. As you can see, Better Days jazz selection is quite vast. This entire row is jazz. On to Hank Crawford. I suspect we'll find some kudu stuff here. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, priced right. Quite a bit to choose from. Diodato. Yeah, a little jazz funk for you. Both variants of the Prelude cover. On the Paul Desmond. These Paul Desmond CTI releases are fire. I'm going to grab that one. We're into Freddie Hubbard. Not a whole lot here, but there is some good ones like that Windjammer. Yeah, the search continues. And the Bob James here. This one is always around anywhere from five to ten dollars. Hubert Laws, if you're into jazz flute, you can look in this Hubert Law section here. This one goes for some money, 20 bucks. This one, 20 dollars. Wow. Mm -hmm. Morning Star. Sea Wind, a little talked about group on CTI. In the Turrentine, huge selection here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the baddest Turrentine. That's a good one. This one is always around. Mm -hmm. Yep, don't mess with Mr. T. Oh, McCoy Tun or Dryden? Oh, promo, gotta get that. Look at this huge Grover Washington section. Multiple copies of the Soul Box broken up into separate volumes, one and two. As you can see, there are plenty of CTI records available here, and they seem to be ranging between six and twenty dollars. So, yeah, lots to choose from. All right, guys, we're back home, and I'm gonna show you what I picked up down at the shop. They were having a half off sale, so that was very good. Always love this record's cover, so I went ahead and picked it up. Ron Carter, Spanish Blue. This is a pretty decent title. Hubert Laws really takes the reins on this. He is the primary soloist, so if you don't like jazz flute, mm, you probably won't be into this that much. That said, from a drums and bass standpoint, this is really strong. Obviously, you have Ron Carter, who plays on lots and lots of CTI titles. And you have Billy Cobham on drums. So it's kind of a power duo there in your rhythm section. They do a pretty cool version of So What on this. 
that <laughs> it's definitely not as good as the original, but uh, nice to hear. This is not bad. I paid four bucks for it. Typical CTI label. Beautiful cover. Nice picture of Ron Carter. This is great. Here's the other one I got. I said I was going to buy it, and I did. Paul Desmond's Skylark. These Paul Desmond CTI records are very good. This one here has Gabber Zabo on it, a wonderful guitar player, guitarist, if you will. And they open this with sort of a reharmonization of Take 5 that they're calling Take 10. This album is very nicely recorded, expertly recorded, I would say. It's, it's a fantastic sounding record. It's very nice. There's uh, some nice funky pieces on here. There's some straight jazz sounding things on here. And it's definitely worth picking up. If you see it at less than $20 and it's clean, like this one, it's a no-brainer. Regular CTI title, super clean copy, half off for me. A win, win. Paul Desmond, Skylark, Ron Carter's Spanish Blue. Yeah, two great records. There were plenty of CTI records available. Among other things, you might have noticed that I picked up that McCoy Tyner's Trident promo, <laughs> 750. So, yeah, uh, it, it was it was a good day. So. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video, but keep going out there and looking for records, guys. Keep them spinning and bob out.